Hi, and welcome to Wilder Outdoor Academy. In today's lesson, I'll teach you how to make uh, a fishing lure from a bottle cap. All right, let's get started. For today's lesson, you'll need a few things. Um, the first is going to be a bottle cap. It uh, doesn't really matter the color, although shinier is better. This red one's not quite as shiny as I'd like, but it'll work. Uh, the next thing you'll need are some treble hooks. These are size 9 treble hooks. A treble hook is just, um, it's a single hook that has three barbs coming out of it, or three hooks that each have a barb coming out. And these are typically what you use on the kind of lure that we're going to make today. The next thing you'll need is some 19 gauge steel wire. 19 gauge is a little thicker. Uh, but that's because we don't want um, any tension that a fish might put on it to undo uh, any of the, um, the loops that we're going to make in here. So 19 gauge, just in case you're not familiar. Uh, wire, the, the higher the gauge, it's actually thinner wire. So 19 is lower than we might use for something like snaring. Uh, but 19 gauge wire, we're only going to need a few inches of it. So if you've got some lying around, uh, you know, your garage, your work area, that's probably best. some little hex nuts. Um, a hex nut, I'll show you up close. It's just a tiny nut that screws onto a bolt. We're going to use these um, as sort of built-in weights for our lure. Uh, and also it's going to create kind of a rattle in the lure, which is going to be great too, because that's going to attract the fish. So some hex nuts, some smaller ones. These are size um, 632, small ones, so I'm real small. And finally, I'm going to use two pairs of needle nose pliers, but uh, you'll definitely need at least one pair of needle nose pliers. I'm going to use two for the twisting because we are using thicker gauge wire. If you don't have uh, two of these, you can certainly get it done, but um, uh, you might want to use a higher gauge or a thinner wire. And as a final thing you might want, it's not essential, but if you're using this on a uh, fishing rod and reel, you'll want some barrel swivels. Barrel swivels will just make sure that the lure can spin without twisting your line up. Um, again, I'll show you up close what these look like. So you know. Here we go. Here is the barrel swivel. It's going to sit on the end of our lure and it will spin so that our line doesn't get twisted. Okay, so I'll give you a close-up view here. Um, today's lesson won't take a lot of time, but hopefully that gives you more time to get out and fish. Um, but here is an up-close of our lure. So you can see how it looks. See what we're going to get to in the end here. So the first thing we're going to do is take our wire. And we will pull off about four inches wire. That might be a little bit too long there. Four inches. I use my thumb as a guide for inches, just roughly. Four. About there. And I'm going to use the wire cutter part of my needle nose pliers to cut the wire right here. Oh, that shot off. And so here's our wire. Straighten it out. And the wire should be a good bit longer than our bottle cap. In fact, this one might be a little bit 
too long, but this bottle cap's going to stretch a little bit when we, uh, when we twist it up. So I might actually take a little bit off of this. And this is about what we want right there. Now the next thing I do is I'm going to take two, or I'm going to take my pliers, I'm going to twist two loops on either end, like this. Alright, let's see how that works. Now I want those, those cannot go below my bottle cap or they can't go below the edge of the bottle cap, because if they do, our bottle cap's not going to be able to move around. So you can see here, it's outside the edges of my bottle cap. This is going to be sort of the spine, the center of our lure. Once we do that, take our treble hooks. I leave the hooks in the box when I'm not using them because, uh, well, hooks go into things, including your hands. And I don't want to accidentally hook up to something I don't want my hook in. So here's my treble hook. What I'm going to do is put one of the uh, curves that I made here and thread it through that treble hook. Now this is where having two pliers is really helpful. I'm going to take one plier and pinch the loose end there. After I've done that, I'm going to take the other end, or the other pair of pliers, and I'm going to use this to twist as much as I can this loop that I've made so that the loose end goes around at least one full time, if not twice. And it's really important because if a fish is pulling on this, the last thing you want is for this to come undone because you didn't twist it enough times. So this is what we're looking for. Twisting twice. Um, the next thing we're going to do is repeat that same step. That is not the next thing we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do is take our hex nuts. And I like to use two. These are basically going to weight or create a weight that's going to make our lure sink. I'm going to take those hex nuts. And I'm going to thread the wire through them. So that they're sitting on my wire. Now the next thing I'm going to do is twist a loop on this end. Again, I pinch it, and then I take my other pair of pliers, and I just twist it at least one full turn, if not two, because again, we do not want our fish coming off just because we didn't do enough twists. about enough. You can see that there, it's twisted through on top, twisted on bottom, and I have my hex nuts right here in the middle. Now, on the, to the last two steps. We have to bend our bottle cap. And the way we're going to do that is actually not by bending it at first, but by taking the edges where it will bend and folding them out. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it out. I'm going to take this side and I'm going to fold it out. If I do it hard enough, it's already starting to bend. I want that. Now what I'm going to do in my last step is I will take the two hex nuts, set them in the middle of the bottle cap. You can see here, they're in the middle. 
and I will fold this bottle cap over top of them without trapping the two loops I made up top and on bottom. Now, if you're like me, you're not going to be able to squeeze that as tight as you can. So I take my pliers and I give it an extra, extra pinch. I actually pinch the, the top and the bottom as much as I can so that this won't fall out. Now the wire should spin, but not be so loose that it falls out. Here I'm squeezing it, crunching it a little too much, but you get the idea. All right. Now, there we go. We have our lure. A few things I want to fix on this. I actually want this metal to go a little further up here. So I might undo this a little bit, loosen it, move that up before I pinch it, and pull that off a little bit. Move it up. I'll do that on my own. But here is the basics of our fishing lure. Now, the last thing you might want to do again, if you're fishing with rod and reel, is tie on one of these barrel swivels. They spin just like this, and that's going to keep your line from getting tied up. Now, this is a great lure to use for bass, for northern, for most any fish, and you can use it like a jig. You just let it drop in the water and kind of bounce it around, or you can cast it and pull it through the water like this, and the good news is that those weights inside are going to make a rattle, which is going to pull or draw the fish to you. So a uh, great little lure, um, all made out of materials you could find if uh, you were in a survival situation. Hopefully, maybe the hook might be hard, but um, the rest is all stuff that you could, uh, could put together on your own. So here it is, bottle cap lure. Get out there and go fishing. <laughs>